In the ever-evolving world of web development, creating dynamic and interactive user interfaces is crucial. As users demand more engaging and responsive experiences, developers must keep up with these expectations. This is where front-end frameworks come into play. They are essential tools that help developers meet these high standards. Front-end frameworks provide developers with pre-written components and libraries, making building complex web applications faster and more efficient. These frameworks streamline the development process by offering reusable code and standardized practices. Think of front-end frameworks as toolboxes for web developers. Just like a physical toolbox contains various tools for different tasks, a front-end framework offers a collection of tools to tackle different aspects of web development. They offer a structured way to organize code and handle common tasks, such as DOM manipulation, data binding, and routing. This structure not only makes the code more manageable but also enhances collaboration among team members. Using a framework can save time and effort, allowing developers to focus on building unique features. By handling the repetitive and complex parts of coding, frameworks free up developers to innovate and create. Front-end frameworks have become essential for modern web development. They are the backbone of many successful web applications, providing the foundation upon which developers build. Choosing the right framework can significantly impact a project's success. Factors such as community support, documentation, and ease of use play a crucial role in this decision. In the following sections, we'll delve into some popular front-end frameworks. We'll start with React.js, a powerful and widely used library for building user interfaces. Developed by Facebook, React.js has gained immense popularity in recent years. It is a JavaScript library for building user interfaces. React is known for its component-based architecture, virtual DOM, and reusable components. One of the key advantages of React is its ability to create reusable UI components. These components can be easily combined to build complex user interfaces. React's virtual DOM also contributes to its performance, allowing React to update only the necessary parts of the actual DOM, improving speed. React's popularity stems from its flexibility, performance, and strong community support. Many companies, including Facebook, Instagram, and Netflix, use React. JSX stands for JavaScript XML. It is a syntax extension for JavaScript used in React. JSX allows developers to write HTML-like code within JavaScript files. While this might seem unusual at first, it offers several benefits. With JSX, developers can write HTML and JavaScript together in the same file, making the code more concise and easier to understand. JSX also makes it easier to see the structure of the UI within the code because it uses a familiar HTML-like syntax. Although JSX is not mandatory for using React, it is highly recommended. Most React developers prefer JSX as it simplifies the development process. Components are the heart of React.js. They are like reusable building blocks for creating user interfaces. A React application is typically made up of many components which work together to form the complete UI. There are two types of components in React Functional Components and Class Components. Functional components are simpler and are defined as JavaScript functions. Class components, on the other hand, are defined as JavaScript classes. Each component can have its own state and props. State refers to the data associated with a component, while props are used to pass data from a parent component to a child component. We'll discuss props and state in more detail in the next section. Section 5. Props and State in React. Understanding props and state is crucial for working with React. These two concepts form the backbone of how data is managed and flows through a React application. Props and state allow developers to manage data flow and reactivity within their applications. They help in creating components that are both reusable and dynamic. Let's take a closer look at each of them to understand their roles and how they differ. Props are short for properties. They are essentially read-only attributes that are passed from a parent component to a child component. They are used to pass data from a parent component to a child component. This allows for a unidirectional data flow, which is a core principle of React. Props are immutable, meaning they cannot be changed directly within the child component. This immutability ensures that the data flow remains predictable and consistent. State, on the other hand, is mutable and can change within a component. 
it is used to manage data that is specific to a component and can change over time. State is used to manage data that is specific to a component. This data can change in response to user actions, network responses, or any other events. When the state of a component changes, the component re-renders to reflect the updated state. This reactivity is what makes React applications feel dynamic and responsive. Mastering props and state is essential for building dynamic and interactive React applications. By understanding how to effectively use these tools, developers can create applications that are both efficient and maintainable. Section 6. Navigating with React Router. In single-page applications, routing plays a vital role. Routing allows users to navigate between different views or sections within the application without requiring full-page reloads. React Router is a popular library for handling routing in React applications. React Router provides a declarative way to define routes. It matches the URL to specific components, allowing for seamless navigation. With React Router, developers can create navigation links, handle route parameters, and define nested routes. Using React Router enhances the user experience by making the application feel more like a native app. Section 7. State Management with React Hooks As React applications grow in size and complexity, managing state can become challenging. React Hooks provide a way to manage state and other React features without writing class components. One of the most commonly used hooks is, it allows developers to add state to functional components. Another useful hook is, it allows developers to perform side effects in functional components. Side effects can include things like fetching data from an API or updating the DOM. React hooks have simplified state management and made React code more readable and maintainable. Section 8. Exploring Angular and Alternative Framework while React is a popular choice for front-end development, it's not the only option. Angular, developed by Google, is another robust and widely used front-end framework. Unlike React, which is a library, Angular is a full-fledged framework. It provides a comprehensive solution for building complex web applications. Angular follows a component-based architecture similar to React, but has some key differences. Angular uses TypeScript, a superset of JavaScript, as its primary language. TypeScript brings static typing to JavaScript, which can improve code quality and catch errors early on. Section 9. Components, Services and Directives in Angular. Angular applications are built using a hierarchical structure of components. Components are the building blocks of Angular applications, similar to React. However, Angular components are more structured and have a clear separation of concerns. Services in Angular are used to share data and logic across different components. They promote code reusability and modularity. Directives in Angular are used to manipulate the DOM directly. There are two types of directives, structural directives and attribute directives. Structural directives change the structure of the DOM. Attribute directives change the appearance or behavior of DOM elements. Angular's comprehensive nature provides developers with a well-defined structure and a rich set of tools for building large-scale applications. Section 10. Introduction to Vue.js – Another Popular Choice Vue.js is another popular front-end framework known for its simplicity and ease of use. It has gained significant traction in recent years. Vue.js offers a gentle learning curve, making it a great choice for beginners. One of Vue.js quote S core features is its reactive data binding system. It automatically updates the DOM when the data changes. Vue.js also uses directives, similar to Angular, to add functionality to HTML elements. Vue Router is the official router for Vue.js. It provides a way to create single-page applications with Vue.js. Section 11. Choosing the right front-end framework. With so many front-end frameworks available, choosing the right one for a project can be overwhelming. Each framework has its own strengths and weaknesses, and the decision can significantly impact the development process and the final product. There is no one-size-fits-all answer, as the best choice depends on the specific requirements of the project. Factors such as the project's complexity, the team's familiarity with the framework, and the long-term maintenance needs should all be considered. React.js is a great choice for building complex user interfaces and single-page applications. 
Its component-based architecture allows for reusable code, making development more efficient. Its large community and ecosystem provide ample resources and support. This means that developers can easily find solutions to common problems and access a wealth of libraries and tools. Angular is a good option for building large-scale, enterprise-level applications. Its robust framework includes everything needed for development, from templates to testing tools. Its comprehensive nature and TypeScript support can improve code maintainability. This can be particularly beneficial for large teams working on complex projects. Vue.js is a great choice for beginners or projects that require a simple and lightweight framework. Its flexibility allows developers to gradually adopt it in existing projects. Its ease of use and gentle learning curve make it approachable. This makes Vue.js an excellent option for small to medium-sized projects or for teams looking to quickly prototype ideas. Ultimately, the best framework is the one that best fits the project's needs and the development team's expertise. Taking the time to evaluate the options and understand the specific requirements can lead to a more successful and efficient development process.